As we await the unfolding of this event, the 100 day countdown to 2021 quincentennial commemorations in the Philippines. We shall now witness the replaying ceremony. To offer now the wreath at the Sentinel of Freedom Monument is the Chairman of the National Historical Commission of the Philippines and Executive Director, National Quincentennial Committee, Dr. Rene R. Escalante. He is accompanied by the military host, Captain Salvador M. Sambalilo of the Philippine Navy. Witnessing the wreath laying, we have Director General Jeremy Barnes of the National Museum of the Philippines, Executive Director of Instituto El Aguilar of the National Historical Commission of the Philippines, and Executive Director Cecil L. Rivera of the National Parks Development Committee.
Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the rifling ceremony at the Sentinel of Freedom Monument, also known as the Lapu Lapu Shrine. Lapu Lapu, the first Filipino who showed bravery, courage, and patriotism in the Battle of Maktan in 1521. Well, from here, we'd like to uh, invite our guests to proceed here at uh, the uh, lead wall area as we'll be starting off the countdown to 100 days to the 2021 Quincentennial Commemorations in the Philippines. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the 100-day uh, countdown to the uh, 2021 uh, Quincentennial Commemorations in the Philippines is a program of the National uh, Quincentennial Committee in partnership with the National Historical Commission of the Philippines, the National Museum of the Philippines, National Parks Development Committee, the Presidential Communications Operations Office, Philippine Information Agency, Radio TV, Malacanang, and a Leader of Life Foundation with assistance of PLDT and Smart Telecommunications. Well, from here, we'd like to invite our guests to uh, proceed now to the uh, lead wall area for the uh, countdown to 100 days to the 2021 Quincentennial Commemorations in the Philippines. Of course, uh, we have uh, Dr. Rene Escalante. We have uh, Executive Director, Instituto El Aguilar. We have uh, Executive uh, Director uh, Cecil Romero, Mr. Uh, Ilag Diaz, of course, uh, Director uh, Jeremy Barnes. Okay, starting off with the countdown. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we just had that countdown. So uh, thank you very much to our uh, distinguished personalities in front as uh, we'll now uh, move on with the uh, next portion 
of this evening's program. Well, of course, ladies and gentlemen, this 2021, the Filipino people will commemorate the 500th anniversary of the Philippines, particularly in the achievement in uh, science and, of course, the humankind the, with the first circumnavigation of the world. So uh, central to this commemoration is the 500th anniversary of the victory of Mactan on 27 April 2021. These and other related events are collectively known as the 2021 Quincentennial Commemorations in the Philippines by virtue of Executive Order Number 103. Of course, also, ladies and gentlemen, in tonight's event, would like to uh, invite your attention on the screen as uh, we'll be lighting up the uh, Quincentennial logo powered by the solar lamps from a liter of light foundation.
There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We just had the uh, emblem or the uh, Kinsentinial logo as prepared by a Letter of Light Foundation. A big hand for that, ladies and gentlemen. Well, today, the Filipino nation marks a 100-day countdown to the 2021 Quincentennial Commemorations in the Philippines. And, uh, of course, uh, high, which was highlighted by this uh, solar uh, light of the, um, of the uh, logo of this uh, Quincentennial. Okay, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen... All events of the NQC are closed to general public due to the COVID-19 pandemic and NQC chairperson Salvador uh, Medialdea instructed the NHCP and the Presidential Communications Operations uh, Office through the attached agencies, Radio Television Malacanang, the Philippine Information Agency, People's Television and other government media to live stream all the uh, quincentennial events. So... Uh, of course, uh, we're having it now, and uh, all the uh, uh, pages of the Facebook page of uh, the different agencies are having it uh, live stream. So, uh, for now, as we uh, move on to give his opening remarks, we'll have uh, Director General Jerry, Jeremy Barnes of the National Museum of the Philippines. Thank you very much to our host uh, for the program. Good evening to everyone and welcome to the Sentinel of Freedom, the monument to Lapu-Lapu here at the National Museum Complex in Rizal Park. It is my honor to give the opening remarks for this program marking the 100-day countdown to April 27, the 500th anniversary of the victory of Mactan. With this monument as the focal point in Manila, our national capital, to symbolize our great heritage as a people and as a nation, a heritage that profoundly inspired and animated Dr. Jose Rizal, to whom these hallowed grounds, as well as the National Museum complex around us, are forever dedicated. Since the start of this year, the National Museum has taken over the responsibility for this monument and the grounds of this section of Rizal Park, and the efforts that we will make commencing this year to improve and extend the gardens and open spaces, restore the original layout designed by Daniel Burnham, integrate the museum buildings, and bring the museum out beyond our walls into the outdoors, develop amenities and facilities, as well as more exhibition halls, according to a long-term master plan, and in partnership with all our stakeholders. All this we will dedicate in commemoration of the quincentennial and the heritage and patrimonies patrimony of all Filipinos, symbolized by this monument that stands proudly at the center of our grounds. Between, in actual fact, our splendid Nat National Museum of Natural History, which stands for the patrimony of our islands, waters, and skies, and the great National Museum of Anthropology, standing for the heritage of the cultures of all our people, through the depths of distant ages to that of the time of Lapu-Lapu himself, and now to our own time. It's indeed a privilege for the National Museum to join the National Historical Commission of the Philippines and the National Quincentennial Committee and give all the support we can to the objectives of this commemoration. Here at our complex in Rizal Park and throughout our national network, which in partnership with the Department of Tourism will also include our new museum at the historic Customs House in Cebu City as a flagship component of our contribution to mark the quincentennial. In all these efforts, we have been working together, pooling resources, and getting increasingly excited, notwithstanding the challenges of the pandemic, and do our part towards a meaningful celebration. So I would like to acknowledge the efforts of the 
National Consentennial Committee, headed by Executive Secretary Salvador Medialdea, with NHCP Chairperson Rene Escalante, and for our program of activities here in Rizal Park, the National Parks Development Committee and Executive Director Cecil Lorenzana Romero, and particular thanks and acknowledgement to Mr. Ilac Diaz and the Leader of Light Foundation for their contribution, partnership, and advocacy. So to all of you present, and to all the viewers who are watching us tonight, thank you for joining us. Mabuhay tayong lahat. Well, uh, thank you very much to uh, Director General Jeremy Barnes of the National Museum of the Philippines. Well, to give us now the uh, background on the uh, Quincentennial, we'll be having the uh, chairperson of the National Historical Commission of the Philippines and executive director of the National Quincentennial Committee, Dr. Rene R. Escalante. Director General Jeremy Barnes, Executive Director Cecil Lorenzana Romero, Executive Director Instituto Aguilar, Deputy Executive Director Jesriel Apilar, Mr. Ilac Diaz, mga kapwa ko kawani at naglilingkod sa pamahalaan, at iba pang mga panauhin, magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Una sa lahat, nais kong magpasalamat sa National Parks Development Committee at sa aming sister agency, ang National Museum of the Philippines, sa patuloy na suporta at pakikiisa sa mga makabayang gawaing tulad nito. Humihingi po ako ng paumanhin sa ating mga kababayan dahil sarado sa publiko ang karamihan sa mga programa para sa quincentennial. Pagtugol na rin ito sa panawagan ni Pangulong Duterte at ng mga kinaukulan na iwasan ang mga pagtitipon. Gayunpaman, nagutos ang tagapangulo ng National Quincentennial Committee, Executive Secretary Salvador Mideldea, na gamitin ang media assets ng pamahalaan upang mailapit sa mga Pilipino ang mga gawaing quincentennial. Dahil dito, Lubos ako nagpapasalamat kay Secretary Martin Andanar ng Presidential Communication Operations Office at sa kinitawan nito sa NQC na si Director General Ramon Kualuping III ng Philippine Information Agency sa pagiging katuwang ng NQC sa pag-ere ng mga gawaing kinsintinyal sa social media at iba pang platforms. Akin din pong sasamantalahin ang pagkakataong ito na pasalamatan ng PLDT Smart Communications sa makabayang desisyon na suportahan ng mga gawaing quincentennial. Malaking bagay ang pagtugon na ginoong manipangilinan sa aming pakiusap na bigyan ng maayos na signal ang giwan Eastern Samar sa darating na Marso. Nakakataba ng puso sapagkat hindi lamang giwan ang kanilang sinalo. Hiningi nila ang aming kalendaryo ng pagdiriwang at nangako na silang tutulong sa abot ng kanilang makakaya. Sila rin po ang katulong natin kanina sa paghatid sa atin ng pagdiriwang na ikasandaang countdown sa Liberty Shrine sa Mactan, lungsod ng Lapu-Lapu. Muli, maraming salamat PLD Smart at ginoong pangilinan. Yaman din lamang pinag-uusapan ng komunikasyon Mahalaga na verified ang mga inilalabas nating mga kaalaman sa publiko para sa pagdiriwang ng kalimangdang anibersaryo ng tagumpay sa Mactan ng unang pag-ikot sa mundo at iba pang pangyayaring kaugnay nito. Kaya aking pinasasalamatan ang aking mga kasamahan sa National Historical Commission of the Philippines sa pagpapayaman sa kaalaman ng publiko araw-araw sa social media. Asahan po ninyong mas lalo pang yayaman ang ilalaman ng aming web website na www.nqc.gov.ph ng lecture portal na portal.nqc.gov.ph ng YouTube channel, Spotify playlist at Facebook page naming at NQC 2021. Maari po niyong i-download lahat ng mapakikinabangan ninyo sa mga asset na ito ng NQC. 
lalo na ang mga educational video, infographics, paper crafts, MP3, at iba pa. Lahat po ito ay libre at magiging inyo in high res, high definition, and high quality. Amin lamang pong ipinakikiusap na ipamalita pa ang mga bagay na ito sa inyong mga kakilala, kaanak, at mahal sa buhay. Ang pag-aaral ng kasaysayan ay hindi lamang nakakatulong sa apat na sulot, sulok ng silid alaran, ito'y gampaning makabayan at makapilipino. Ang 100-day countdown ay isa lamang sa maraming gawain ngayong taon. Ang binibilang po natin ay ang petsa patungo sa April 27, 2021 o ang ikalimang dang taon ng tagumpay sa Mactan. Napakalimitado ng ating mga resources. Bagamat, bagamat maraming magagandang panukalang proyekto para sa 2021 na nangangailangan ng kulang halaga, minarapat po nating isang tabi ang marami sa mga ito upang makatulong sa pambansang pamalaan sa krisis na kinakaharap nating lahat. At sa pagtugon ng iba't ibang sangay ng pamalaan at pribadong institusyon, lilikha tayo ng mga makabuluang gawain. Una na riyan ang pinagtulong-tulungan ngayong pagdiriwang sa Mactan sa April 27 kung saan magbibigay pugay ang bayan sa alaala nila Pulapo at ng mga mandirigma ng Mactan sa umaga at sisikapin nating matapos ang Metropolitan Theater upang magsagawa ng mga palabas sa gabi na magtatampok ng simple ngunit makabuluang pagtatanghal sa unang pagkakataon mula nang isara ito sa publiko noong dekada 90. Salamat po sa NHCP at sa National, Culture for, National Commission for Culture and the Arts na nag-restore sa National Historical Landmark at National Cultural Treasure na ito. At dahil nasa kasagsagan pa rin ang pandemya, hindi po ito buka sa publiko. Bagkos ito ay co-cover sa social media at telebisyon. Para sa pribadong sektor ng na ating katuwang sa gabing ito, ang Aliter of Light ni Ginoong Ilak Diaz. Maraming salamat sa pagpili sa NQC na maging recipient at collaborator. Napakadakila ng inyong hangarin. Ang may tampok ang pagbabagong manggagawa ang pagbabagong magagawa ng Pilipino sa pangangalaga ng kalikasan. Ang kanilang solar light na pinamamahagi sa mga puok, pamayanan at pamilyang higit na nangangailangan ng renewable, renewable light sa loob at labas ng bansa ay talagang kahanga-hanga. Ang aliter of light ay nagpapamalas ng mabuting loob sa kapwa, likas na katangian nating mga Pilipino. Hindi ba't ito ang katangiang naitala limang taon na ang nakalipas sa Humunhon, Eastern Samar? Nang tulungan ng ating mga ninuno ang hindi nila kilalang mga banyaga at itong mga banyagang ito ay naghandog sa sangkatauhan at sa siyensya ng tagumpay na maikot ang mundo sa unang pagkakataon. Humanity, iyan ang isa sa tema ng Quincentennial. Gayon din, hindi ba't ang pagiging bayani ang kaakibat ng tapang, husay at pagtatanggol sa kapwa at bayan. Itong ito ang aral ng labanan sa Mactan, limang daang taon na ang nakalipas. Ika nga, naming mga nasa larangan ng kasaysayan, mabuti tayong kaibigan, ngunit huwag magkakamaling maghimasok sa ating mga lokal na usapin. Kung bakit buong Pilipinas ang nagdiriwang kay Lapu-Lapu at sa labanan ng Mactan, ito ay dahil mismo ang mga bayani natin, ang mga nagtatag ng bansang Pilipinas noong ikalabing siyam na siglo, ang nagtaas kay Lapu-Lapu at sa labanan sa Mactan bilang pamana at shared memory ng mga Pilipino. Patulay si Lapu-Lapu na dumadaloy sa atin ang dugong matagumpay. Ito ang victory sa tema. Sa ngala ng bumubo ng National Quincentennial Commission at ng National Historical Commission of the Philippines, tanggapin po niyo ang aking pangbati. Maligayang Quincentennial.
Well, uh, thank you very much to Dr. Rene R. Escalante, the chairman of the National Historical Commission of the Philippines and the executive director of the National Quincentennial Committee. To give us now an insight into the solar lamps used in the special Quincentennial logo and to share his advocacy is the executive director of a leader of light foundation, Mr. Elak Diaz. Hi, my name is Ilak Diaz, and I'm the executive director and global founder of Litter Light. One of the most important events in Philippine history is happening on April 27 in Cebu. This is the victory of Lapu Lapu in Mactan. Because of this, we have created a viral campaign called Light It Forward, where even during COVID, we have invited thousands of participants throughout Metro Manila to be able to contribute to these icons and images of heroism. And how did we do that? We have built them into icons and images of heroes. And at the same time, one of the largest rosary in the world. Each and every one of those solar lights are gonna be like pixels in some of the images in the world. And all of that is just a buildup to one of the most important dates, which is the 100 day countdown to the quincentennial that will be happening in Cebu. So on January 17, we look forward to inviting you with one of the largest logo of Philippine pride and independence by making the quincentennial logo at the Luneta Park. All of this is to make sure that your part as we come to one of the most important milestone in Philippine history. We are very excited as we make landmark projects in the Philippines. So let's take climate action, but at the same time, let's celebrate being Filipino in one of the most environmental ways possible. National Quincentennial Committee, the National Museum, the National Parks Development Committee that first gave me my ch the chance to do this solar artworks. Thank you for allowing me to be part of this. As we look up at the symbol of Lapu-Lapu, the strength and the courage, we remind ourselves today, in the midst of the challenges of COVID, the environment, and of course, the longer problems of climate change, that the greatest strength of a leader is not asking people to depend on him, but the ability to inspire others to be leaders. As we stand here today, the inspiration and power of change is not found in one or even a few hands, but in as many people that we can inspire to move forward, to take the challenge, as we know that it in the Philippines, the power of the people. Climate change is one of the most important challenges, and we should inspire our greatest asset, the people that are on social media, our youth, that makes 50% or more of our population. As we look at the challenges for the next 500 years, we have engaged thousands of youth, youth to not only look upon this event, but be, to be part of it to be the leaders that we need to create for the future we want. As our ancestors did before us, we plant the seeds and map our way forward to a sustainable future. The Light It Forward was to be able to engage thousands of young people from the safety of their home to make solar lights. We have no cases about engaging the young people in this time of pandemic but through perseverance and moving to a digital space, in 30 minutes, we were able to teach them how to make solar lights. And like the ice bucket challenge, we made them challenge five others. We started with 100, then it went to 200, 1,000, 2,000, and now today you will see almost 3,000 solar lights with sweat equity and perseverance built by youth. Each one of them will displace 1,000 kilos of kerosene in the villages. Each kerosene lamp burns 200 kilos of expensive 
kerosene, carbon-based fuel that the, that the community needs to go all the way to the villages or all the way to the city to be able to buy. We look forward to not create only the biggest solar artworks in the world here at Luneta Park, but engaging the youth to reduce carbon emissions by 10,000 kilos as we approach the biggest event of our history, which is the 27th of April. We can show climate leadership. As Lapu-Lapu has shown us the warrior spirit, we can fight for our climate, we can come together and show the world on this special day that we too can be heroes that the world can look upon to make an impact on climate change. Thank you very much. Well, uh, thank you very much to Executive Director Ilak Diaz of the Leader of Light Foundation. For now, we'll be moving on with a Kin Centennial theme song. But meantime, let me give a background on this. Well, 400 days ago, on December 14, 2019, the country began its 500-day countdown to the 2021 Quincentennial Commemorations in the Philippines in Lapu-Lapu City. In the said event, the National Quincentennial Committee launched Bagani, the Quincentennial theme song. The song celebrates the heritage of nobleness and compassion in a Filipino to do great things for fellow men and the world. Composed and written by uh, Roel Rostata and arranged by Junji Marcelo, Bagani was chosen among the entries of Philpop Bootcamp 2019 by the Philippine Popular Music Festival, National Commission for Culture and the Arts, and the National Historical Commission of the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, may we now hear the quincentennial theme song Bagani from the singer-songwriter. Let's give it up for Mr. Roel Rostata.
much to Mr. Rowell Rostata, a great rendition of the Think Song Bagani. Well, of course, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as the government, particularly the uh, National Centennial uh, Committee, is grateful and one with a leader of foundation or a leader of light foundation, Meantime, we'd like to show you a special challenge video prepared by various government agencies. 2021, the Filipino people will commemorate the 500th anniversary of the victory of Lapu-Lapu and his men in the Battle of Mactan. Like the founders of the Filipino nation, we, the Filipinos of today, acknowledge symbolism as the light that illuminates our path be free, sovereign, and victorious always. Lapu-Lapu and Mactan are our common heritage as a Filipino. Let the spirit of valor transcend in our times as we face new challenges. Rising sea temperatures, more extreme weather conditions, and global health pandemics. Together with the rest of the world, our time requires us Filipinos 
stand up and take our part in protecting our home planet. We are 100 days away from the quincentennial of the victory of Bataan. And to mark this milestone in Philippine history, the government and a Letter of Light Foundation are creating a large-scale solar installation of the quincentennial logo. This is the fourth of its kind in the last eight weeks, beginning with the Philippine flag, the profile of Rizal, and the world's largest rosary. The fifth one will be at the ground zero of the quincentennial D-Day at Mactan, Lapu-Lapu City. All of this are built by thousands of Filipinos through Light It Forward Challenge, which is an online campaign to encourage ordinary citizens to help a liter of light tackle energy poverty by building simple solar light from the safety of home. These lights will be distributed afterwards to various communities. Let us celebrate the 500 years and be inspired by the lessons of the past and ingrained in our hearts and minds that we can be heroes and defenders of our planet. In our own light. Pagani ang ating life. Dakila ang lahi ko. Mayayang Filipino sa makabagong manahon. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let us now hear the closing remarks of Executive Director Cecil L. Romero of the National Parks Development Committee. Good evening. It is an honor to be part of this momentous occasion together with the different government agencies, stakeholders, and guests. Rizal Park Luneta, at the heart of our country's capital, has always played a significant role in our nation's history and consciousness. It has witnessed many events that shaped our identity as Filipinos. Tonight, by unveiling the large-scale quincentennial logo made of solar lights, to mark the 100-day countdown to the 500th anniversary at the victory at Mactan, we have once again underlined the integral part of this historic park in celebrating one of our country's milestones. Rizal Park continues to celebrate the Filipino spirit that is free, victorious, even as we face many challenges, including the current global pan health pandemic we are currently experiencing. May this commemoration light the way in inspiring Filipinos to remember the sacrifices and ideals of our ancestors like Lapu-Lapu. Congratulations to all the government agencies and partners in this event. Maraming salamat at mabuhay tayong lahat. Bayaning Filipino sa makagabagong panahon. Thank you very much, Executive Director Cecil L. Romero of the National Parks Development Committee. Ladies and gentlemen, this ends the 100-day countdown to 2021 Quincentennial Commemorations in the Philippines. We we'll thank you all for your presence. Keep safe and healthy. See you in the series of events for the Quincentennial Commemorations. God bless everyone and have a great Sunday evening.